disrespectful, feels entitled, emotionally unavailable, not offering. We're going to get into a few types of guys that you should avoid. We're back with another segment of Murphy's Thoughts. And on this segment, we're going to talk about four types of guys that you should avoid. And we're going to start with the disrespectful type, the self-explanatory. We do not do disrespect around here. It should not be accepted. It should not be tolerated. It should not be excused. I will not tolerate this. If he doesn't respect your wishes and he doesn't respect you as an individual, why are you even tolerating him and dealing with him? He's always not good for your mental health. I think I'm going to be sick. They're not treating you the way you need to be treated or the way you want to be treated. You're not taking, being taken into consideration. So why waste your time? You know what you gotta do? It ain't that good, that bitch, so. Simple. Because in the long run, it's gonna be you the one that's to lose versus him actually losing. Until, good, bitch, so. and then he loses. Next, we got the entitled. And these are the ones who expect something just because they did something. Like the corny dudes. You know, they work all month to go buy that Gucci shirt. <laughs> and just because they put it on, they expect you to want them and go on dates with them. What you mean? I spent $500 on this shirt. Of course we should go to the movies. Wait a minute. You spent $500 on a shirt, but you want to take her on a $22 date. Cheap. Also, they're the same ones who expect something just because they do what they're supposed to do. Such as, what you mean, girl? Like, we talk, man. I'll let you talk to me. You let him talk, man. What you mean, girl? Like, whenever you crying, I'm not sure that you leaning, no. Aren't you supposed to? Like, these are the ones who want a whole PS5 just because they told you that they love you. Ain't you supposed to? You're not supposed to, but ain't you supposed to? Then you got the ones that's emotionally unavailable. These are the ones who cannot open up. They do not want to communicate, do not want to talk. They might have their own walls up. However, they also may not. They may just not want to talk to you. Let's talk about it later. Which ain't it weird? Like, the person they supposed to be around the most, supposed to show the most compassion they don't want to talk to, don't waste your time with them because you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to figure out what the issues is in your relationship, trying to communicate, and guess what? They don't, they don't really want to. They want to just go with the flow. Y'all going through the flow, going through the motions, guess what you're doing? You're wasting time. And the most important one to avoid is the non-offerer. You ever feel like you've been in the same position? Come down. I, I can't. I, I, I get help. Call somebody. For weeks, months, years? That's because they're not doing anything to upgrade you. They're just kind of like there. Yeah, you know, another person that's going with the flow. I get help. Call somebody. But see, the thing is, if you rely on this person to, you know, learn things from, help for motivation, help the drive, and they're not going anywhere, they just be like this. Guess where your line is? Mm, oh, mm. Yours is actually going down because you're not growing. You stay stagnant. Now, this is the information he knows, but you're getting the information from him and he's only keep giving you the same thing. So guess what happens? When you keep learning the same thing, you're basically just wasting your time. And this is where that decline's at. I get help. Call somebody. And see, the thing which I aren't doing is like, you may see he's on level five, but you're trying to go to seven. But see, you're not allowing yourself to get to that level because you got comfortable. You just wonder, what's up there? You know what you need to do? You need to tell them that you'll be right back. I'll be right back. But once you get up here, you'll be like, amazing. You would never have thought things up here are so much better. Better opportunities, better views, better positioning. Never let a guy be the reason you're not leveling up. Level up, level up, level up, level up. So to recap, Four types to avoid is the disrespectful, you let him suffer. Stop! Hey, stop! The entitled, you ignore him. Period. The emotionally unavailable, don't let him waste your time. And the non-offerer. Remember, your key words for him is, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Those are just four people to eliminate to help live a better life. Now, if you want to see four types of women to avoid, yeah, because we're not biased, then click this up here and tell me what you think.